Now it is game time, baby. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. I'm this so started uh, weeks and weeks and weeks ago when Kim Zolciak came out with her new song, Google Me. We listened to this song and Melissa said, you know what? You get in a studio, such basic lyrics here, you can make anybody sound good. Yeah, I do not claim to be a singer. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it myself. I'm going to try myself because I was critical of Kim. I was critical, I mean, Kim Kardashian has a song. Uh, mm-hmm. The Situation from Jersey Shore has a song. And it's like, you know what, simple lyrics, you get the right producers to go in and, and somebody that may not have a great voice and they can make something out of nothing. So, so that's what we did. And let me give you an example of somebody that might not have a great voice. <laughs> Oh, no. Get that. This was our starting point with this. <laughs> I don't think Nate and Stone <laughs> have heard this. No, they haven't. <laughs> <laughs> get Had they, they <laughs> might not have taken on this project. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that boom, boom, boom. Gotta get Look that boom, boom, boom. boom. Nate and Stone from uh, boom, Icon boom. Studios are in here. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it's a good thing we didn't send this to them ahead of time. <laughs> they can't, they can't even, they can't even speak because they're either laughing or are appalled right now. I can see your head just going up. I know. Oh. So how'd you? Get- <laughs> now, wait a minute. Just to be fair, this was not done in a professional recording environment. Is that done a garage band or something? No. Nah. <laughs> that was done sitting right in this seat right here. Oh wow. <laughs> now, had y'all heard that a couple of weeks ago? Would you have taken on this? I would have did it. I would have did it. They would have still done it. it I would have did it. A challenge, so, so I definitely would have accepted the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stretch yourself every once in a while, right? Exactly. Oh. It was yeah. still better than we thought because you made it sound like you were. Tone deaf. Yeah, let me exactly. Let me tell you how. Yes. how okay. When she walked in the studio, she was like, "Let me tell you guys, I cannot <laughs> sing." And so I'm now. I'm thinking the whole time that you're going to sound like a giraffe. Like I have no, I have no idea what was about to happen. Of course, because I didn't hear your, um, you know, now famous boom, boom, boom. Right. right. <laughs> you know. So I did <laughs> exactly. So I, I literally. I'm sitting here like the night before, uh, you know, I'm doing the track, I'm doing the music, and I'm just literally like, you know what, I'm going to have to put this in God's hands. Because I don't know what I'm walking into. We were like like your embryos before you started. We were like... (laughs) And Stone, and, and it's funny because Stone would pop in sometimes and be like, Nate, you okay? I'm like, yeah, man, you know, we're just going to make it happen. So then the next day when you're like, man, I can't sing, I'm just like, well, I've worked with a couple of those before, you know, so, but yeah, you were you way were, better. Yeah, you were a champ. So she is real. better than some professionals that have come in to work with you guys before. Yes. Yep. Come on. No, 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 let me tell you, like, I told, I told her something off air, but there have been some artists that I literally had to take maybe about 100 tracks, like 100 vocal tracks, and I had to cut them and slice them and actually manufacture breaths in between words to make... And these are artists that have sold maybe about 10, 15 million records. Come on. Whoa, really? Yep. Yep. What do you think, Stone? It was was funny. The part that sticks out the most to me is when you were in the booth, Melissa, and... (laughs) And mm-hmm. Nate was giving the AO, and her head was moving, but the note was the same. <laughs> so her head was going up, but the note wasn't going anywhere. And I was like, she was like, how's that? How's that stone? I was like, well, your head is right, but the, but the note isn't right. <laughs> oh, 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 that's, that's right. awesome. But I have to say, I have to say, with Stone and Nate, they made me feel so comfortable because this is something that was so nerve-wracking for me. But once I walked in there and I started working with these guys, my nerves went away, and I had so so much fun. Well, you were and fun. Melissa, so much I have fun. Say, you were fun. This is, I mean, you're really brave to go do. I mean, this is being very mm-hmm. exposed and completely vulnerable to walk into a professional studio with people who do this every day for a living and you know make hit records all the time. Like that had to be pretty nerve wracking. So I'm proud of you for just walking in the front doors that oh, day. Yeah, you know, yeah. thank you. That's awesome. But I think that what it goes back to Stone and Nate. Like I, I wasn't nervous at all. I mean, they made me feel so welcome. Did you tell them I had cool. to sing in your ear? Yes. Yeah. 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 It was quite awkward, but I got used to it. So you, you, had to you, got, you got real, you got real close, real quick. Yeah. 
<laughs> so you're literally singing in her ear oh, and yeah. she's trying to emulate oh, the yeah. sound that's coming out of your mouth. But then yes. you wouldn't sing with the headphones on. Which is crazy. I've never I've never experienced that. Can you show ever. us a little bit right now what that looked like? Okay. Yeah, that's like how it was. So basically So Melissa had, would have to take her headphones, headphones off. off. And okay. the music was playing. Right. And I could hear it behind and my like back this. and he was right in my ear. And I was singing right <laughs> into it. That's pretty intimate. Wow. Wow. Oh, Y'all yeah. had to get to know each other really well, really. Oh yeah, we did. The funny thing about it is she was actually on pitch. She right. was with yeah. no headphones. With no headphones. Wow. No one music time to guide did they her. Sing like a little faster, but that, you would expect that if you didn't have the headphones. Right. On. But right. other than that, she was mm. on pitch but, and everything. But if I had so. the f- if had the music in my headphones, I'd get lost. It was and just I couldn't lost find the in notes. space. Yeah. You know, I, I thought that I was <laughs> going to be faced with someone. You know, because you had those singers that that can either sing the solo or are in the choir or just need to like. Or belong in the choir. <laughs> <laughs> Way back. I, I was always choir. one of the ones who belonged in the choir. Cause <laughs> if, no, I so, wouldn't even let me do that. I sound uh-huh. great with 60 people around me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So she could actually be in the choir. You know what I mean? She could. She doesn't belong. She could be in the choir, you know. And so I can work with that. Okay. I can work with All that. Right, All right. Well, let's see what you did with I that. I can't wait. Yet. All right. Now, going into this, <laughs> Melissa's said that she wanted very basic lyrics, mm-hmm. much like um, Google Me, Tardy for the Party, very basic. That's right. If I'm going to criticize it, then I got to try it myself, right? So I just tried to do exactly what I was critical of other people doing. All right. So this is the debut of Melissa Carter's <laughs> Unplugged. <laughs> I got it. You guys are mu- I mean, you guys are magicians. I think your point <laughs> is proven. I think your point is proven. Yay! Yes. Yes. You guys so did a great cool. job. And Nate obviously is crazy on the track. But then Blake, I just yes. definitely want to give up to Blake Ice. Yes. Like, he's a crazy mix yeah, engineer. He's really yeah, good. He's like a surgeon yeah. on that stuff, man. Here is so. Brittany. Good morning, Brittany. You're on the Burt Show. Hi. Hi. I just want to say I love it. Put it on iTunes and I will buy it. I'm telling right. you. Right? Yes. <laughs> Which yes. we're planning on doing, right? You are going to work something out. We're the gonna song get has already been submitted to iTunes. Oh, yes. fantastic. Wow. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Icon Studios Atlanta. These guys, Stone and Nate and Blake and every... Oh, Justin was there. I yeah. call him DJ Poker Face. Right. I mean, it, <laughs> I, I could, it's a, it is a team effort, and these guys did such a good job. Uh, Nate and Stone, yes. great job, Thank y'all, you. man. Thank you, guys. And Melissa. Thank you, guys. And Melissa. 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 Great job. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Crushed nice. it, girl. Thank Crushed you. It. Yay! All right, we will put... Uh, we'll find out about what's going on with iTunes, yes. so we'll definitely put it up online also at thebirdshow.com.